Just after nine last night, a car bomb explodes on the outskirts of Moscow. It kills Daria Dugina, the daughter of far-right ultra-nationalist Alexander Dugin. The flames shock onlookers. How could this happen in Russia? Who did it and why? Daria Dugina was herself a media personality, sanctioned by the US and UK, massively pro-war, even wrote a book about it. But was she the target or was he? The two had been at a cultural festival together that afternoon. Alexander Dugin had given a lecture. He is one of the architects of an extreme right-wing view of Russia's place in the world. I am supporter of Putin, so I am, I am transmitting the will of uh, our of conservative society, of Russian identity. He I'm dreamt of a new Russian empire, Eurasia, forged from spiritual and mystical ideas. Some heard echoes of these ideas when Vladimir Putin invoked Peter the Great to justify invading Ukraine. What Dugan did do was, was sort of normalize this idea of empire, of a new version of empire that has become increasingly popular uh, in elite circles in, in Russia. Some call Dugin Putin's brain, the Putin whisperer. For others, his influence is over-egged. Does Putin call Dugin up? About, probably not. This event is going to further radicalize the already radical nationalist element in Russia. This is a really stunning turn of event in, in Russia, and I don't think anybody was expecting it. It is normally Putin's opponents assassinated in Russia, not his allies. We may never find out who did it, and neither may he. Unverified social media video appears to show Dugin at the scene of his daughter's death. Ukrainian officials said Ukraine had nothing to do with it because it wasn't a terrorist state unlike the Russian Federation. Daria Dugina was more than her father's daughter, a propagandist in her own right. Her death, a rare rupture in Russia that will leave many bewildered about what just happened and where it may lead.